Casey likes to put the football in the air. Eighth ranked passing offense in the league so far this season. And they'll start it out through the air with a completion to Tyler Boyd, the old reliable veteran. Yeah, what a joy it was to talk to him this week. Leading tackler for that Falcon defense. Now Burrow off the play fake. He's going to let one fly. Oh, he's got him wide open. And strolling in for the touchdown is Tyler Boyd. 60 yards. And the Bengals are on top two minutes in. Both of these teams have had slow starts this season, but the Bengals got off to a hot start today. Can the Falcons match it? Algier on the outside, and he will carry a couple defenders for a first down. The rookie fifth-round pick. Empty set for Mariota. Trying to throw a quick screen, but it is wide of Avery Williams. Now both those guys, because of the communications, get back of helmets here on the field. Okay, and Burrow with the helmet working. Another completion. Second catch already for Hayden Hurst on National Tight End Day. The Bengals' offense has really been lighting it up since the second half against New Orleans. That's continued here today. On this play, Burrow is able to extend it and find Mixon out of the backfield. Joe Burrow using his legs to keep the play going and to pick up 22 yards. Cincinnati driving second and 10. Burrow trying to sideline. There is the connection with Jamar Chase for a first down from their national championship game. He took it out of the case. Burrow Ward, he said it smelled horrible. And <laughs> Burrow now throwing toward the end zone. It's caught. Did he get in? No, just an eyelash short of a second touchdown for Tyler Boyd. First and goal. Mixon gets another opportunity. Stumbles, but enough momentum to fall forward and score the touchdown. Mariota rolling out, looking for an easy completion, but he's not going to get it. It is knocked down by Sam Hubbard. Burrow's been so good on third down this year, 74% completion rate. In the pocket, over the middle, and he completes another one. You know that Armstrong is a little bit nervous. Inside of a minute, Burrow loads up again, completes again. Tyler Boyd, who had the 60-yard touchdown earlier, and he is rolling here this first quarter. How about Tyler Boyd already over 100 yards on four catches and a touchdown. Pressure coming, Burrow to the outside. Cool customer this time finding T. Higgins. Go on to the Super Bowl before falling to the Rams. Off to a great start here as we begin the second quarter. Burrow on a first and ten, going to loft it down the sideline. Chase has it, and he's in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Marcus Mariota getting everybody lined up. Falcon surely could use a first down, but instead of fumble, however, Mariota. On second and nine, Mariota looking to escape the pocket. Hit as he throws and able to complete it. Oh, and look out over there on the sideline as Zacchaeus getting another opportunity to start. His first time as a full-time starter since 2019. And here he keeps it, and look at that elusiveness. A little shake and bake and picking up the first down, Marcus Mariota. And now he's getting to showcase those healthy wheels. Straight ahead run, powerful run by the 230-pound back Caleb Huntley on first down. Tenth play of the drive. Algier gets around Hubbard and lowers the shoulder. Boy, did Atlanta need this drive after getting down 21-0. Now can they polish it off? Surge ahead, a first down. It'll be first and goal inside the five. High formation, Algier over the top and in. And the Falcons are on the board. This Bengals offense has now scored on eight straight possessions and a great start here to this possession. Hayden Hurst, last two years with Atlanta, now being a frequent target here. Already four catches. 
so that they can get both of those players picked up. Second down and 19 behind the chains. That pass is complete for a first down. So you lose nine on the sack, and then you find T. Higgins over the middle and move the sticks. And the execution again, no matter who's in there for this Falcons defense. All three timeouts inside of a minute, working the sideline, but then Chase comes back inside, and he's gone! Jamar Chase! Second touchdown, this one from 41 yards out. Last year was number four pick, and Mariota is going to go deep, and he's got the connection. All the way into the end zone goes Jameer Bird, his first catch of the season, and it goes for 75 yards and a touchdown. Now Kevin Huber, who booted his 1,000th career punt last week, 14 seasons with the Bengals, kicks this one inside the 20, and Williams makes one man miss. Down the sideline he goes, oh my goodness, Williams with some space to the 25-yard line before he's finally tracked down. And now the field goal by Young Wei Koo to try to get Atlanta within 11. And from 43 yards out, Koo connects. And this game has a very different feel than it did about five minutes ago, and the Falcons will get the ball in the third quarter as well. Mariota out of the gun, needs nine yards. And that pass almost caught off the deflection by Kyle Pitts, but good defense. In the second quarter with an injury is back out there and ready for this drive. As Burrow is going to go the other direction and connect with T. Higgins, the third-year man out of Clemson for a first down. Uh, due to the injuries in the secondary, this is his Falcons debut, and he's been thrown into the fire. Handoff, and they're not going to get it, so how big was that play? Set here for Joe Burrow and company. Pocket is clean. Burrow to the sideline, and it's jarred free by none other than Cornell Armstrong. Bell's tackle, a loss of three, second and 13. Mariota all by himself in the backfield. Pressure, down he goes. Trey Hendrickson got to him. And they go back to this empty set. Well, it looked like there may have been movement there. A flag does fly. This may be a free play. And that ball is intercepted. It's picked up by Richie Grant. But will it hold up here? Yeah, of the Falcons. I think you're right. Offside defense number 98. Now, I mentioned it last week. They were only under center for two snaps, and they've been under gun pretty much all day today. And that pass back, shoulder adjustment, and a catch by Tyler Boyd. What a game he's having. And Burrow now has gone over 400 yards, and we still have six minutes left in the third quarter. He's going to add to that total here. Stretching out. Now the ball comes free. They're going to say he's down shy of the goal line. T. Higgins tried to stretch it out. No, instead, how about a sneak from Joe Burrow? No signal yet. Looked like he was in. Wait for it. it certainly yes, did. There touchdown. Mariota, 96-yard passing. 75 of those came on one play on the touchdown strike you're referencing to Bird. Here he goes to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus gets upended by Taylor Britt. Mariota's only completed six passes today, and he's not going to get an opportunity to throw it here. He is about what guys have done in other places, and they've really started to gel as a unit. But just as we say that, Burrow is sacked for the third time today as D'Angelo Malone. Pocket clean this time. Mariota connects, keeps the drive going, at least for the moment. Count and then change the play for your best chance to convert. They need to get to the 44 and able to do it. Double A mug, get those linebackers walked up. A lot of times those guys drop out to take away those underneath crossing routes. Here comes the pressure. Mariota off the edge. Hit, driven back. Down he goes. Third sack. A clock ticking, certainly Cincinnati in no hurry. And Burrow calmly completes for a first down to T. Higgins. Out across the 20, and now they can just continue to eat that clock. 
that didn't end up making the playoffs. The Bengals, one of those teams that could break that streak. Burrow's going to take off and surprise everybody and get the first down and more. He followed his center, Ted Karras, right up the gut. So Burrow adds to his big day and now gives it to Mixon and Mixon with his longest run of the afternoon for 11 and a first down. But that's a good point about what they're going to be able to do flexibility wise when this year is over as Burrow tosses it back to Chase for another first down. Worried about scoring points to win the game. Burrow underneath first down. As he gets it back to Hayden Hurst. Hurst has had a big game against his former team. Well, he wasn't just giving it lip service when he said that he feels he has three number one wide receivers. Yeah, between those two and Higgins. What a, look at this. Yeah. Now, hold on. They brought in Hurst to take a snap, and it worked. Just line up over the ball. You wait until that thing moves before you do. And Joe Burrow in victory formation and a backflip in the backfield as well. For Trent Taylor as Cincinnati wins it 35 to 17.